Hey guys, welcome back to Thousands of Roots. I'm Carrie, and today I have an off-grid laundry update for you. Uh, if you haven't seen our previous videos on laundry, you might want to check those out. Um, this is six years now of off-grid laundry for us, and we're finally at a place that I feel really good about. And so I'm looking forward to sharing with you today where we're at with off-grid laundry. Uh, but please stay tuned to the end. We have two really great resources we want to share with you at the end of this video. And guys, she is literally on top of it now. <laughs> I should mention for those of you who don't know, I'm almost halfway through pregnancy with our seventh child. And I've got a whole list of goals for before this next baby comes. And one of the top priorities was to get caught up on laundry. And so I'm um, super excited to have a way <laughs> that I can actually do that now. This is a Speed Queen commercial heavy duty washing machine. I've done quite a bit of research on machines and I kept coming up, coming across the older versions of the Speed Queen for people off grid. Um, a lot of good recommendations for, for the machine. So I figured with this company, um, it's pretty reputable as far as off grid living goes. So the modern, more modern version, um, we were hopeful would be really good fit for us. And so far, it's been amazing. Um, we did have a few bumps early on though, which I'm gonna have my husband Kip tell you all about. <laughs> First I want to show you one of the reasons why this was acceptable for us for off-grid living. I compared the energy usage of this one to the oh two thousand um, dollar off-grid machines that they sell you know like uh, at off-grid stores and stuff like that and the energy usage was very comparable if not sometimes better on this machine than the ones they sell okay before we talk about the bumps that we incurred after we installed this thing I want to just share the process of us getting it first we had some brethren that blessed us with the finances with 80 to 90 percent of the finances to purchase it and we had blessing from patreon and YouTube you thank you so much we had extra finances to be able to get this machine, so you guys have seriously blessed my wife and blessed me and blessed our household. Thank so you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we did the research, installed this, and we were like, sweet honey, it's hooked up, it's ready to go. And I actually tried the first um, lawn, uh, load, and it wouldn't work because this thing's set on a timer and it fills at a certain rate based on your water pressure and because we're on gravity flow water pressure and guys there's if you're relatively new if you don't know about our water system we have a 1500 gallon tank the gravity feeds the house and that's our running water plumbing in the house so the water pressure is very low in the house after it wouldn't work, I started researching, reading the manual, looking at the manufacturer stuff, and found out that this washing machine requires 20 PSI, 20 pounds per square inch of water pressure in your plumbing. So it wouldn't work. So, come the inline pump. This was something I'd already researched, what, five years ago? <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> long time ago. Five years ago, thinking that I might have to pressurize the plumbing in the house at some point in time. And now I was pressed to figure it out. So the line coming in is this line here. This line comes in from our main tank here, goes around into the pump. The pump pressurizes it, then it goes into here and then pressurizes all the plumbing in the whole house. In between where it comes in and the pressurized is, a, is what's called a check valve. So the water cannot go that way. So this pressurizes it. Very noisy. <laughs> and that's it. Now it's at 40 PSI, or all of our plumbing in the house, that quickly. Mm -hmm. With this on, my lovely wife <laughs> can catch up on laundry at last. <laughs> can set the washing machine, get it going, set it, and forget it. Mm -hmm. And it goes through all the cycles and does everything. And she found out that even with this on and the washing machine on, our solar system handles it which I was really surprised. I was thinking that we were gonna have to run the generator pretty much whenever we did this system. Mm -hmm. uh, which we probably will in the winter. Right. Um, but in the summer when it's a full Sunday, our solar system totally handles this. Both of these, which is very impressive. 
By the way, this pump is an AC pump. So it's run by AC, which is um, electrical. Now this, this switch here, I personally wired that in. I cut, I cut the, um, the cable, um, the plug that comes from here. I cut it and then I wired in this switch to make it a lot easier to turn this off and on. Okay, so for those of you who are cost oriented, this pump is about $100. And then the plumbing, you can probably get the plumbing for $30 to $50. Um, the washer machine um, and all of its plumbing. Washer machine was 800 and something. And then all the plumbing was another like 100 or so, or the parts and stuff. So all in all, um, you're looking at, I think it ended up being about $1,200 for the whole thing. And for doing the install, the extra, because you always end up having to do extra plumbing stuff when you do stuff like this. Um, so about $1,200 cost for this whole upgrade to our laundry. All right guys, I was getting a little too noisy inside, so I came out here to the garden. and Just wanted to say that we've only been using the new Speed Queen for about a month, but I'm super pleased with it. It uses very little energy, very little water. Um, it works well, cleans the clothes well. And I'm now only maybe six or seven loads behind on laundry rather than 20, so I'm catching up pretty quickly. Um, and that's exciting to me. I do also plan on continuing to do um, just very simple off-grid laundry in a huge laundry sink once we get our add-on set up. Um, so that'll be available. And I'm keeping the small machine that we got from Amazon as well. Oh my goodness, it's not much quieter outside. Um, keeping the small machine, I'm hoping to uh, let the children use that machine to help out doing um, some of their own clothes. Okay, in the greenhouse now. <laughs> Sometimes it can be a challenge to find a quiet place to film on a homestead with two families and lots and lots of children, lots and lots of chickens. <laughs> on to the two resources that we wanted to share with you. The first one, I'm super excited to recommend to anyone interested in humanure or composting toilets. Uh, the Kellogg family has created an absolutely beautiful, colorful, um, short, but very informative ebook on humidor. So if you are interested at all in that, I highly recommend it. They are offering it for free, which is awesome, but there's also an option to donate. And if you're at all able to donate, um, that would hugely bless them. Their ebook is going to be available on their website, ouryearfullife.com, uh, but I will leave a link in the description below for anyone who's interested in that. And the second resource we want to share with you today is not free. However, it may be a very useful tool for a lot of you so Kip and the children are going to share that resource with you. Hi guys um, I'm going to show you a flashlight. Now flashlights for a lot of men um, and uh, quite a few women are something we really like. Now what I've never done is I've never gotten a high quality flashlight. The highest quality flashlight I've ever gotten is a mag light and later on this evening, I'm going to do a comparison between the mag light, this pretty good solar flashlight that we have, and then against the Olight Warrior X. It was just sent to me. Now, to be fair, with full disclosure, I was contacted by um, a, a representative from this company. Uh, he asked me if I would check it out and if I would do a short video on it. So, all I'm doing with this clip is doing an unpacking. And then I'm going to compare those three flashlights at night, which I have not done yet. I'll, I have unpacked this and checked it out and played with it a little bit, just so I could have an idea what I was talking about when I unpack it for you all. Thus far, my impression is I'm impressed. First of all, the packaging is high quality packaging. Magnets on the side here to keep the box closed, um, which I've never seen before, not that that means anything. Um, again, so this is the Olight Warrior X, uh, and it's the ta a tactical flashlight is what it's called. This flashlight is not one of those all-purpose flashlights where you can break a window, where you can um, cut your seatbelt. This flashlight, the purpose of this flashlight is to make brightness to make bright light. That's what it does. 
So here's the unpackaging. Here's the case it comes in. Very sturdy case. Um, this flashlight can be turned on while it's in its case. And so here's the front of the case. Comes out. So here it is. One of the main reasons why I was willing to do this is because we live on solar power. So buying new batteries and all this kind of stuff is not appealing to me. But a rechargeable flashlight is appealing to me. That's one of the longevity tests that I'm going to be doing with this flashlight. So after a few weeks, a couple few months, whatever it is, I'm going to do a follow-up after I have put this thing to the test. And it will get rigorously tested here on thousands of roots. This flashlight is the brightest flashlight I have ever seen. It's crazy. But we'll look at that later when we compare them to uh, the Maglite and uh, this other high quality uh, solar flashlight I have. This is a USB um, charging cable. Standard US USB. This should just magnetize onto there, which it does nicely. And you plug it in and it charges up. Pretty slick. This wheel magnetizes and then from a distance, then you can turn it on and off. Right here. And I'll show you next where that comes into play. Uh, most importantly, as far as with this goes. This is a rail mount for the flashlight, and this can mount onto uh, any rifle that has a proper rail. Okay, so one of my requests to the uh, representative that contacted me was that I want it to be multi-purpose. So I want it to be handheld, plus I want it to be able to go onto a rifle if um, ever needs be. So he complied. This is the remote switch, which makes it just a little easier to get to. Right there, to turn it off and on, so you're not reaching up here to turn it off and on, you're just reaching right here. I almost can keep my, well, I, I can keep my finger on the trigger and turn it on from here. But up here, I wouldn't be able to do that. So that's where that remote switch comes into play. Probably you can place this elsewhere to make it even easier. I don't know yet. I'm definitely not uh, a pro at this. So, but I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. All right, guys. So right here, we're gonna test these different flashlights. We have four flashlights out here to test: Mag Light, this solar flashlight, the solar power. This is a new one. It's pretty good. The O Light, brand new one. Main main one we're testing. And Olight sent us a keychain uh, Olight just as a bonus for fun. So we're going to check them all out right now. Show them the Maglite, Nathan, down on the ground. Estepai, show them the mini Olight. Now here's solar power light that's pretty good. Okay, Josh, the Olight. Boom! Everything else disappears. The Olight is way brighter than everything else. Pretty impressive. Okay, so now we're going to shoot it about 100 feet into these trees and see how well they perform. Keychain light, Esther. Shine it out there. Yeah, okay, mag light out there. Okay, solar light. Ooh, pretty good. Look at that. Okay, O light. Whoa, there's a huge difference now. That thing reaches out there nicely. Go to there. Yeah, look at that. So follow me, Josh, wherever I go. And then just eat me up. Look at that. I'm hiding Isn't that view. something? I'm hiding, Josh. Look, I'm hiding. <laughs> so now let's go on this. Look at this flower. Ooh, look at that pure, pretty, pretty flower. Whoa, you shine on the flower, Josh. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys, I got an announcement about the flashlight. After testing the flashlight for a bit, I'm, I'm very pleased with what I've seen so far. Again, I will do another review uh, weeks, months later after we put it through rigorous testing, but at this point, I'm happy with it. And 
what is very encouraging is that they're just about to do a sale on this flashlight. I'm going to be reading here what the info is I got on the email. Um, so this sale, uh, it's going to start July 12th and run through the 16th. This is a significant sale. Almost everything's going to be on sale. There's going to be things from 20% off all up to 40% off. Now the item that we were that we received, the Warrior, um, is 40% off. Significant decrease in the price. Because I will say that my thoughts and from my perspective, this is a pretty expensive thing that in the past I would have never considered getting. But after testing it and seeing what it does, I would really consider it. And with this sale going on, I would really consider it. <laughs> so. Hopefully we're going to be getting a link. When we get that link, we'll put it down in the show notes so then you can click through that link and go right to the shop. Thank you so much. You guys, I cannot say thank you, thank you, thank you enough for being a part of our channel, part of our lives, from my heart to yours. Thank you so much for your love and your support and for being a part of our lives and the journey that we are on here on Thousand Roots. And I pray blessing over you and yours. Whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. It's another day on the homestead, you guys. Look at that nene bug. That does a daddy's heart good right there.